Hi friends, Travis here. If you're new to the channel, I want to welcome you. And of course, if you've been here before, welcome back. This is a cabin tour of Royal Caribbean's interior promenade view room 7311 on deck seven. As for our usual format, I'm going to start at the door. Um, basically, you come in and you have this entry corridor, which you see a lot on pretty much any cruise ship and Royal Caribbean especially. And right here off to the left coming in the door is where you have your closets. This room only has one big two-door closet, life jackets, the safe, hangers. We had some robes to use and stuff here. And then that's about it, some shelving storage on the side. These fold down. Um, we didn't really find them all that useful, but I think they're to like hold stuff, like your luggage or whatever. Um, we just put our stuffs on the shelves and on the floor and just unpacked as best as we could, hung things up, that kind of thing. On this side, we'll move over into the restroom. The light switch is here on the outside, which is pretty inconvenient because the door opens this way. If you open the door first, then you can't really reach to turn it on, but you get used to it. Um, eventually, I'm sure I haven't yet, but that's fine. Uh, anyway, this is a kind of a standard Royal Caribbean bathroom. Um, you've got the sink, the vanity there, uh, tons of mirrors. This one actually opens up and has storage in it. And then on this side, it doesn't open up because there's actually a diagonal wall there. So kind of fakes you out a little bit. Uh, storage down there, the trash can, all that stuff. Moving around, we've got the toilet, flusher, some storage rack for towels there, and obviously more towels and such on this wall. This is a Royal Caribbean ship. So it has a shower pod. These two doors open like this. Um, it's a standard cruise ship shower. I didn't love this one. I think our shower head might be broken because it doesn't actually give us a spray. It gives us more of like a hose jet of water. Water temperature was great. Water pressure was okay. You also have the little thing over there that pulls across, plugs into that end, and you can hang up your, you know, like stuff to dry and whatever. Um, but yeah, other than that, a pretty standard bathroom here. Moving out into the main part of the room, we have more storage over here. Some drawers to pull out under the TV. The TV's up there. Shelves above. We had a towel animal. We got a couple of towel animals this trip, but that one we got to keep. Um, and so yeah, moving around, we've got some artwork. More shelves there. You got a vanity. Uh, we're, we have some stuff there. We're still packing up. Our cruise is about to end. Uh, I have that thing, which I use to record stuff sometimes. That's me in the mirror. That's also Carlos in the mirror. And this cabinet in here actually has the refrigerator. Uh, this one worked much better than the one I had on Adventure of the Seas. So, um, yeah, so you can put, you know, drinks or whatever in there. Carlos is sitting on our window couch. So this is a couch that overlooks the promenade. Promenade view over here we have a nice view of this staircase depending on where you're at on the promenade you'll have a different view of the promenade below we chose this room because it's very close to the elevator and that has worked out pretty conveniently for us as far as power outlets because i forgot to talk about that you've got this uh, european style one over here and then we've got two american 120 volts or 110 volts or whatever they are uh here this is the way you control the announcements in the room. We, I didn't actually find that that worked. I don't know. Um, the main announcements were made out in the hallway and anything that was super critical was made throughout the whole ship. Um, in addition to that couch, you have this couch. Um, so it's nice. You have this kind of like seating area over here. It might make sense if they put like a little table or something, but we don't have that. Um, yeah, sometimes they'll put it under there, but it's just a chair. Uh, in this case, we have obviously the full like double bed configuration. This can also be split off into twins, which is how it was set up when we first got here. And we told our cabin steward to 
put it into big bed because we sleep together. Um, and then you get a nightstand on both sides. In the split bed configuration, one of the nightstands will go in the middle. That's the bed. Lighting all around, more artwork. There are no power outlets by the bed, but there is a switch to control the lights, which is convenient if it's the middle of the night. And then you have your AC thermostat there. It's the old school ones, um, but it worked very well. Our room got very cold when we turned it down and warmed up quite quickly when we turned it up. So I'll come back over here so we can do sort of like a full spin of the room. Say hi to Carlos again. TV, towel animal, drawers, art, vanity, say hi to Mira Travis, um, all that stuff. Nice big window, promenade view, etc. I want to thank you all for traveling with me. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, all those fun things. We'll talk soon and y'all have a good night.